here's the problem with development. You have a long period of time that you're not cash flowing. So if you go from bare land, vacant land to fully stabilized multifamily, you're two, two and a half years. So that means you're floating money for a long period of time. While you're floating that money, someone's getting paid interest. Even if you're using your own money, you have to calculate that into account because now you have opportunity costs. If you have $10 million out in a building, well, you're still paying 10, 11, 12% on that because if you weren't, you'd be able to loan that money to someone else to do it. So now you have the money out for that period of time. Being that interest rates are so high right now, it simply doesn't make sense to hold that capital open for that period of time. So now we get into a value add deal, we buy it. The day we buy it, there's income. We're cash flowing immediately. Now we're just making improvements as time goes on, where two years later we've been cash flowing, we've been depreciating, so now we have tax benefits for those two years, and we don't have the big risks there is with development. Mm -hmm. We could buy a vacant piece of land and now all of a sudden there's environmental concern. The town changed where now the zoning doesn't work anymore. Someone could get hurt on the job, stop the job. I'm very concerned about people getting hurt at work. Always a big thing for me. So development, high risk, maybe high return, value add, much lower risk, defined return.